guys, welcome back to the Maple Strip Show. I'm your host, Maple Strip, and today we're going to talk about Maple Strip. It's been a while since I've done my one video on this channel because, well, since since I did that video, I got a new microphone, so that's good. I tried to record this exact uh, video on this exact topic on the old microphone, but I just realized that it was just such bad quality. I'm not entirely sure certain why that happened, by the way. I think it's just that I bumped it against stuff too much and uh, it was a cheap microphone, like 10 bucks, so now I got an 80-80-20 I think with a Behringer uh, mixer on it it's very neat, it's very neat I'm sure you're all here to listen to me ramble about my microphone what I want to talk about today is I suppose a bit more personal than last time. I think last time I talked about my voice and how much difficulty I have talking into a microphone without, you know, being in a conversation. Just talking on my own is just kind of difficult, I think. Um, but yeah, that's not the only reason why I had difficulty uh, writing videos like that, writing, recording videos like these for podcasts. Because the whole idea of these, this the life of podcast series or the socks drawer and such is basically that you talk about yourself and who you are, I suppose. Uh, as I kind of alluded to in the previous uh, video I did. But I just had a lot of difficulty doing that. And that's because, um, and I've always had a difficulty describing this well. But basically, I feel like, at least in my case, and I'm sure this might also be true to a lot of other people, but at least to me it is this way, that I consist of dualities, so to speak. I have a lot of difficulty uh, figuring out who I am, to some degree. The, uh, many parts of my identity that I actually hold really close to me, there's an exact opposite part of the same thing, which is just as strong. I'm... So I tried to list a few examples, and I don't actually have all that many, but it might actually give an idea of why it's so difficult to to really talk about yourself when you don't really know who you are. So like, for example, I, I think to some degree I'm a, a pretty naive person. Like, I, I generally t uh, t take things at face value and I generally uh, believe people are doing things um, for honest reasons or because it's what they believe in. Well, often, you know, uh, well, that's often not actually the case. So, yeah, I would describe myself as a naive person, but on the other hand, I also know that to some degree I'm acting more naive than I actually am. And in fact, I'm somewhat of a clever person as... And I said I suppose I'm somewhat of a clever person, but... Calling myself clever is also not really true, because I know I sometimes actually even act more clever than I actually am. Well, I'm actually way more naive than I try to make myself look. It, it's it's a weird duality where I'm not one and not the other, while also both. Um, another example is how I can be really sluggish, but sometimes I act more sluggish than I am, and I'm actually really nimble, but sometimes I act more nimble than I am. Or how I am always looking for attention, but I also just really like being alone. And it's just a weird duality. And what even am I? Am I an introvert or am I an extrovert? This is also why tests like Biobricks and such, they just never get any kinds of results that make any sense to me. Because every time I do the test I get the exact opposite result basically. Like it just depends on how I feel like answering a question at that specific moment. And one of the most difficult ones for me is the duality between flirty and aromantic. And Romantic, I suppose. Like, I can be a really romantic person, but simultaneously, I'm really aromantic and I'm also just really flirty and sexual, but also asexual, and it's just. 
It's just so confusing. Because the ba main issue here is basically that whenever I say something about myself, I just know that I will always end up saying the exact opposite like a few weeks later or something like that. This is also why I don't actually talk all that much about myself. Because I just, I know I'm going to contradict myself. That's just by nature, I guess. No, no, yeah, even then, I don't know. It's kind of hard. This is also the reason why I've always really liked the, the aspects the, the aspects and classes and uh, a lot of stuffs in uh, in Homestuck. Because in Homestuck you basically have these characters who are, well, their characters, as all characters are, they have a much more defined personality than I am, I suppose, than I have. But there's also this fantasy in Homestuck where these characters uh, are introduced to this metaphysical game, this metaphysical, this supernatural world basically. And they are basically told how they can, they, they are told what their character arcs are using uh, several things. They, they have this arc of self-actualization and I find that in fiction in general, by the way, it's not just Homestuck, but Homestuck is the perfect example of it. But the coming of age stories in general, they often have these characters who can self-actualize throughout the plot. And the plot is built around allowing them to do so. And it's just kind of difficult to... Well, it's difficult to self-actualize, especially if you don't really know what your own identity is. Identity is. Even the things that are really important to, even with more physical things, like my uh, passions and such, like I consider myself somewhat of a webcomic expert, for example, or a video game expert, or whatever. Expert might be a big word for that, but simultaneously, I've not actually read all that many webcomics or played at all, many, all that many video games. Just like the whole point of me is that I barely actually consume the fiction that I love and mostly just read about it. And there's this weird duality going on where can I even call myself a webcomic expert in that way when I barely even read them. And I also know of course there are people who know way more about these topics than I do and that also makes it hard because I'm never particularly special in how much I know about something. I, I, I'm not interested in knowing everything about a topic for them for most things, maybe. Like, I, I don't want to go in-depth about computer science or anything, even though I'm a computer science major now, basically. It's, um, it's kind of difficult to talk about yourself when you don't really know who you are, and I guess that's the topic of this video. And I'm quite happy with how I'm able to describe that aspect of myself right now.